There it is. All right. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome back to the raised bed garden series. When you're growing and planting in your raised beds, soil can be your biggest investment. So today we're going to show you how to make your own DIY soil mix so you can save a ton of money. We're also going to show you how to fill your raised bed quick and simple. Again, saving money on soil and saving time. Now it's been a busy week here at Cali Kim. We leveled out our workspace. We installed some simple edging. And we also decided to add a second level to the raised bed. And it was really, really simple. But first, we got to ask, why did we do that? I wanted to plant vegetables that have deeper roots. And the taller raised bed will accommodate that. And another thing that's really important, Jerry, is that with a taller bed, it's much easier access. So you don't have to bend over quite as much. It's easier on your back and your knees. So I really like the look of it. And really quickly, here's how we did it. We just built an identical raised bed from what we did last time. But come on in here, and I'll show you what we did for support. We just added a two by four, 18 inch piece and just did it for additional support all the way around the horn. We've got our corner braces here for support mm -hmm. and one in the middle. So it holds the two levels together, makes it super sturdy. It will hold the weight of all the soil that we're gonna add today in the raised bed. Now, when you're figuring out where to place your raised bed in your garden, you wanna put it in a place that gets at least six to eight hours of sun. So in the Northern Hemisphere, you want to face your raised bed to the south. That's where it's going to have the most sun exposure. So that's what we've done here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to line the bottom of our raised bed with cardboard. And the reason for that is it's going to help prevent the weeds from poking through. Any weeds that do poke through will be smothered out by the cardboard. So that's what we're going to do first. And when you're building a raised bed, like I mentioned earlier in the video, soil is gonna be your biggest expense. Now, when you fill your raised bed with all bag soil, you're gonna spend a ton of money, but you can really cut down on the money that you spend by making your own DIY soil mixes and by doing a little filling trick for your raised beds, which we're gonna show you in just a moment. So over time, the cardboard will break down adding more organic matter to the soil and help keep the weeds out. We're just putting the cardboard all the way to the edge as much as possible. Okay, Jerry, I think that's looking pretty good. That's good? Yeah. Okay. Now, instead of filling our entire raised bed with soil, we're gonna do something called the quick and thrifty fill. When you have a lot of raised beds to fill and a very big raised bed like this one, this is a really good idea. So what you do is you fill the bottom third or half or so of the raised bed with organic material you might have around your yard. We just trimmed a whole bunch of these trees last week. So we have tons of tree branches and leaves. Basically put whatever organic material you have around your yard. Maybe you pulled out some plants from the garden, you can throw those in there. Pretty much anything that's not disease or pest infested. Fill the bottom of the bed, and then we're gonna put our soil in in just a moment. And this is just one option that you can do. I have other filling methods in my new book, The First Time Gardener Raised Bed Gardening. It will break down over time and add organic matter to your garden bed, which is always a plus. So we're putting all these leaves and branches to good use. Now I'm gonna get in here and kind of spread it around, kind of flatten it down just a bit. This reminds me of Lucy and uh, Ethel. <laughs> when they kind were making like, wine on kind of like the grape stomping thing right yep oh, fill yeah. in the corners here a little bit now that we have our raised bed filled with our leaves and our branches and our sticks it's time to talk about soil now that's one of the beauty of raised beds is you can fill it with your own diy soil mix that's nutrient dense you want your soil to have good aeration good moisture retention and some really good healthy nutrients in it so today we're going to do our own diy mix it's the keep it simple and thrifty mix from my new book. And Jerry, we've got a bunch of soil over here yep. that we're gonna actually get started with. Let's do this. Why don't we take everyone over to where we kept the soil. We don't ever tell anyone about this spot or show it on <laughs> camera very much. But you know what? Let's take you behind the curtain a little bit here and see. You may have noticed these cans in all of our videos. Actually, that's where we're keeping our soil. So where did this come from? This, when we empty out garden beds or empty out containers, I put all my extra soil in these Beautiful. bins. Never throw it away. Soil is going to be your most valuable resource in your garden. And when you're filling your beds, you can save a lot by using your own topsoil from your yard. So you can dig up soil that maybe you have spots where you have extra soil, extra container soil. This is what we're going to start with. Right. So Muscle Man's going to pull these over here. 
and we're gonna start filling our raised bed. So the first thing that you need when you're doing soil is some topsoil. You can also save a ton of money by checking around at local landscape companies where you live and buying soil in bulk. You can save a ton of money that way. So first we're gonna add some of this topsoil to our garden bed. That's ingredient number one in our soil recipe. So we're just gonna dump it in. Oh, that's the plan, <laughs> okay. And we're gonna add some extra nutrients in just a moment. So the topsoil here is gonna form the base of our mix. And I'm just gonna start scooping it in. And we're gonna layer in nutrients in just a moment. So like I said, if you've got an area in your garden where maybe it's an empty spot and you have some soil that you can dig up, you can definitely start with that. Or get some garden soil in bulk from a local landscape company. Definitely don't wanna use all bagged soil. I mean, you can, it's definitely more convenient but it's also very, very costly. One, two, two three. three, lift. While Jerry's getting more soil, I'm gonna grab our hose link retractable hose and water down the soil as we fill the bed. That way the soil has the moisture it needs and the plants will get off to a good start once we get everything planted. Just pull this out. Here we go. So I'm just gonna mix the water in here so all the soil gets fully saturated. I'm gonna keep on watering, adding soil until our bed is full. Let's spread this out a little bit. It's starting to look like a garden. Yeah, this is gonna be really nice. Yeah. At this point, I don't really want to get in and step on my soil because I don't want to compact it. I want it to be nice and loose and fluffy. That's one of the beautiful things about raised beds is you're filling it with fluffy soil, so it really helps cut down on the weeds too. And the fluffiness is what gives your plants and the soil good aeration. The roots need to breathe, so you get lots of good harvests. Now we're about halfway up Right, the so bed here, is that about what you were after? Yeah, about what we're after. Good. You want to fill it about three quarters of the way okay. with your topsoil or your bulk soil mix. Then we're going to add in some nutrients. Uh, you know what I always say, crumbly brownie mix. So you can see right now it's just a little bit too dry. So just a little bit more moisture in here. Now I'm not going all the way down in with my pitchfork because I don't want to pull up all the leaves and the sticks. So I'm just going about halfway in and then just kind of flipping it over. All right, we pulled out all the soil we have around the garden and we're just gonna dump it all in. All good topsoil. Look at those leaves in there. It's looking good. We're emptying out some of our old containers. Okay. Ooh, I see worms. Oh, worms. That's good. Always a good sign. So we're basically filling our raised bed for free with soil that we already had. We're gonna add in our second ingredient in just a moment. But that was not very expensive. So this is definitely a very thrifty fill. Come drive here. So you should really just save all your old leaves and all your old good soil, right? Definitely. You have the space for it, save it, and you can reuse it. I mean, that totally saved us money here. Oh, so much money. So it probably would have taken us maybe one truckload full from the landscape company, which the last time I got a truckload full, full of soil, it was around $40. We've got our raised bed filled about three-fourths the way full with this nice, beautiful topsoil. It is gorgeous. It sure is. And now it's time to add the good stuff. So the second ingredient in our DIY soil mix is compost. Now, if you have enough of your own homemade compost, you can definitely add that. But I don't have enough. Most people probably don't. So we actually grabbed some chicken manure compost from the garden center. And chicken manure is great to add in as long as it's fully composted. You don't want to add fresh chicken manure because it's too hot, it's too high in nitrogen, and it's going to burn your plants. So we're going to top this garden bed off with our compost. And this is gonna add good structure, good aeration to our soil, and also add some beautiful nutrients to help grow our plants. Definitely smells like manure though. <laughs> manure Definitely though. does. 
<laughs> but heck, that kind of enhances the experience, right. let's just say. And maybe one of these days, we're going to have our own chickens to make our own chicken manure. So we're going to dump in our last few bags of compost here. And when you're filling your raised beds, you do want to make sure that you fill it all the way up to the top. Get it as full as you can. Because the soil does settle over time, and the leaves and sticks that we put in in the bottom are going to break down, which will make your soil level seem just a little bit lower. It's full as we've got materials for. We used about 10 bags of compost. These bags are one cubic foot. The brand that you get really doesn't matter. Just get whatever compost is available at your local farm. Topsoil in here, we've got our compost. The third ingredient we're going to add to our raised bed mix are worm castings. Now, worms are always a welcome sign in the garden, and worm castings are just a fancy name for worm poop. So, here I'm throwing in some of the Vermistera worm castings. I'm going to add two bags to my garden bed, and worm castings add great beneficial bacteria and microbes to your soil, help your plants be healthy, and help fend off pests and diseases and they are a great addition to our raised bed mix. Worm castings also help improve the soil structure, improve drainage, yet hold on to moisture. So it's a really good component to add to your raised bed mix. And besides that, there's teeny tiny worm eggs in the worm castings. So eventually, you're gonna have brand new worms in your soil too. Our garden bed is full. It's looking really good. It's smelling nice and earthy. And I wanna show you guys about the moistness that your soil should be. So we've watered it down and you want it to be about like a crumbly brownie mix like this is here. When you squeeze it, you want just a few drops of water to come out. This is just, just right. So if your soil is too moist, add a little bit more dry leaves or something dry to it. If it's not moist enough, just add some more water. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth out the soil so it's nice and even on the top. And we are almost ready to plant this baby, which we're going to do on another video. So make sure you do subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to have lots more garden videos to come. We're going to be building some trellises, planting this baby up. It's going to be a lot of fun. The raised bed garden series is just getting started. It's so much fun to see this project come to life. We worked really hard at this so far. Yeah, it's been really fun to see this development come along. Now, we haven't talked much about what's going to happen in this space yet, but I'll tell you this. The view is just gorgeous right here, the garden. We're not down here a lot to just sit and enjoy. I could get used to this. Definitely. We'd I show you guys, but there's a lot of camera gear all over the place. <laughs> we had a really exciting week this week. My new book, The yes. First Time Gardener, Raised Bed Gardening, released. And grab yourself a copy. There's tons of details in here on how to grow in raised beds. You're definitely gonna, gonna wanna have this as a reference guide. And also grab my new Raised Bed Kitchen Garden Seed Collection, because we're gonna be planting plants from this seed collection in this garden bed in just cool. a few weeks and you can get 20 percent off right now with the code let's grow it's a book release sale and that sale will run until monday april 18th 2022 so grow along with us comment below let us know if you're growing your raised beds if you're going to build this raised bed for yourself in your own backyard we can't wait to read your comments thanks so much for watching we'll see, see you on the next, on the next video, video.